Christmas to all who celebrate. Every year I sit down and I tell you what I got for Christmas. For most of these things I've been my own Santa, however I will tell you the gifts that I've gotten either from me or from my parents. Links will be below um, or in the shopping prompt on the screen. But also general caveat and I know that we know this and I know that I don't like need to say it or anything but as usual I'm you know very grateful to be able to get these gifts and also to be able to to get these for myself and everything and you know I just come here to share anyway let's jump in okay so the first thing I got was this Kate belt I'm not a Kate girly but I saw this belt and I was like hold on a second I like what you're doing here and then I saw it rapidly sell out um, and I, because I was like, oh, I'll wait for some Black Friday sales, I'll get it then, then I'll wrap it and I'll put it under the tree. Well, it was selling out and I managed to find it in one place in my size and I was like, okay, I just need to get in, get it and get out. And I did, and it's this, what is it called, the Luca belt. It has this really huge buckle. I ended up getting it from Elise Walker, but it has this huge buckle. And a lot of my belts are either branded, you know, like it's got an H on it, or it's like blue or white or whatever. And I just quite like the fact that this one was just all hardware. Like that's where you're really packing a punch. So I was just like this with jeans, this with a high-waisted skirt, something like that. Most of my jeans are high-waisted anyway. Then you can wear like a simple look, something like this little, little T-shirt shirt and jeans and then just have a little bit of something happening around the waistband so love that i've got two louis vuitton things um listen that color mania collection that was a good one basically they did the classic louis vuitton monogram but usually where there's vachetta leather they just decided to do it in a few pops of color so they did green blue yellow pink purple i think those are the only colors hook line and sinker Okay, and also, I am not, I didn't go for the colour that you think, you think I was going to go for green. Mm -mm -mm. When I tell you, okay, I've got two pieces from this collection. This is the first one. Are you kidding me? The Louis Vuitton. What are they called? The trainer sneakers, the sneaker trainers, whatever. These are usually a men's style, but they've started to do them in women's sizes in a couple of colours, one of which was this yellow colourway. I am obsessed with like the grey, the white and the yellow. I think they speak to each other perfectly. They're all, oh, the communication is strong. I love this little kind of Louis Vuitton script here. I believe this is a sneaker style that started under Virgil. You know I love an Air Force One. Now in terms of sizing, keep this in mind. I ended up going for a 38 and a half. So I went half a size down, I'm usually a 39. These are just... A classic white sneaker with a pop, with a little bit of colour pop, a little bit of juice, shall we say. A little lemon drizzle. These are my lemon, lemon drizzle trainers. It's done. It's done. I'm obsessed with these, so I had to get them. Then, from my parents, we have something also from this colour mania range. Also 54. Oh, because it started in 1854. Did it start? As in Louis Vuitton. Did Louis Vuitton start in 1854? 1854. Bang on. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, my parents got me something else from this collection. And it is the yellow dop kit. So, basically, this is a ginormous toiletry bag. I love it. This is all my skincare, all my hair care, all my bits and bobs and blackhead strips and all of that. That's going to come in this. So I've got a Celine vanity that's usually like my makeup. So like my foundation, my palettes, blushes, whatever. I have like a little zip cosmetics pouch that's for pencils, right? Everything has a place, okay? This is going to be for skincare and everything else. And I love it. So yeah, this is the dot kit. I actually believe that this is a men's style, usually, that they do in only a couple of colours, but with the colour mania, with the yellow, I am obsessed with the yellow against the classic Louis Vuitton monogram in the brown. I just think it pops so well. When I tell you this thing is ginormous, also that's got a little magnetic closure, right? You flip this back, you've got a zipped section inside, the interior is yellow, Juicy McJuicerson, and um, then you've got this little flap on the side that's also the zip, right? Oh, come on, don't embarrass me now. But yeah, I just think this is one of those things um, that I'll have forever. You know, this will be there 
just nicely over time softening up, carrying all of my skincare as I progress through life and, and all of my creams and whatnot start to have the words anti-aging in front of them. Um, <laughs> this will carry me through and it's huge and great and also easy to pack because it's soft. Because even if you're not going to fill in every nook and cranny, it's still going to nicely fit in and not be one of those things that sometimes with something hard-sided, it can take up more space and there's nothing you can do about it because it's like this is it's a bit skeleton you know not like this this is soft it's malleable it will move love that dot kit okay also i think that they were doing that in maybe like three other colors like i think the dot kit also came in an orange and a green i might be lying the next one kind of has a story back in may i bought myself a pair of fendi mesh sneakers right and after maybe about a month of wearing them they started to get a hole where the foot creases right, where the toes crease, there was starting to like create a hole because the mesh wasn't that hard wearing. Anyway, so luckily got back in touch with my um, Fendi SA and she was like, that shouldn't be happening. Come in, you can either swap it for the same thing or like change it for credit basically and then buy something else. So I saw this and I was like, this is the perfect thing. You know, I'm TBE tiny bag energy. Okay, so this is the, let me get rid of this. Fendi, you know I have like a couple of these anyway. Let's not, okay? Like it's cute, it's fabulous, it's different from the others. Uh, she's not like the other girls. This is the Fendi Nano Baguette Maxi Handle. So when it has this like very structured handle, it is known as the Maxi Handle, okay? And it has all of these really fabulous embellishments all over it, all across the bottom. All of these crystals you know me i love a crystal i love a tiny bag how is this how was i not going to leave home with this and crystals all across the top of the handle right so she's just adorned and they did do a completely crystal version of this but there's something about the fendi ffs with the crystals that just almost makes it pop more in a weird way but i just thought this was so cute with the little top handle clip plopping along it also does still have the hook on the back so that you can add this to a bag to a belt loop whatever and it does have da, 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 a crossbody leather strap that you can put through these little d-rings on the sides so that she's a crossbody moment so that's just like the cute stop she's adorable She's just, don't act surprised, okay? You knew that she was gonna come home with me, it was simply a matter of time. Now, on the topic of mini bags, Nee also knows that I like mini bags. He also didn't know that I'd got myself that, because I think when I opened it, he was like getting a bit nervous, because he was like, oh my gosh, she's already got herself a sudden mini bag. So, uh, he got me this, and I just want to have a moment for the packaging, because it is truly incredible came in a box okay inside the box we then have it's bulgari by the way okay inside the box we then have this glorious uh, festive card right that like opens up opens up and says seasoned greetings from bulgari <laughs> oh my gosh so no, i mean like am i framing this i don't know it's, it's so beautiful so they gave they give you that then you give you get like the little gift message then white box open up white box stunning interior right bulgari just they're very very underrated for their leather goods in general but also the quality and the packaging is for not like you get a luxury experience when you shop from them so inside the box we have another box and then inside this box came the serpenti forever i don't even know what this is called charm charm bag right because it's a mini bag look at it <laughs> It's the cutest little thing. And he was like, I know you like green and I know you like mini bags. So he did very well. And look at the little, as we know with the Bulgari pieces, you get the little serpent head on the front. And then this is going to be, this fits the same amount as the Fendi. You are cards, keys, a little lipstick and a stick of gum, right? That is you, um, which is coincidentally all I need for the for our little Christmas lunch that we're going to. So I'm going to be carrying this. I think it's so cute. And also again, this is detachable. So you can use this as a card holder inside a bag, bougie move there, but also I may have to try that. And then also because this little handle is detachable, again, you can hook it as a bag charm or whatever. You can double bag, DBE double bag energy, but yes 
so cute. Nee has decided to call her Catherine. I said, what should we call her? And that was the name you came up with. And so, Catherine it is. Okay, this is just some, a couple of things that I picked up at Chrome Hearts. I went the other day. No, I didn't. I went like three weeks ago or something. And I got this Chrome Hearts t-shirt that says I Heart NY. You know I love it here. You know I love Chrome Hearts. That just makes complete sense. Clearly needs an iron. And then this sort of waffle knit, it's a little crop, but I like, what's that? Did I get this in a large? That sizing is very small. Um, did I get this in a large? Because I want it to, I don't actually like to like have my belly out. I like it to just like stop where my trousers begin, if that makes sense. What size are you? A large, okay, so this is a large just so that it would hit a bit lower. But yeah, and then it just has a little CH embroidery, just a little Chrome Hearts Christmas moment, and then finally. I've got to say this for last because this is quite a moment. So this is actually my first vintage bag from What Goes Around Comes Around, and I'm obsessed with it. And let me just sudden show you so I can take the tag off. Are we ready? Are you ready? This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. Gosh, it's a Louis Vuitton Christmas, isn't it? This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, size 30, in the, the gold miroir from the miroir collection. Basically, it is so delicious and metallic and molten and mm, so good. Um, I've been dying to take this tag off. This bag came out in 2007 and it came in gold and silver. Now, the thing with these speedies is that it's hard to get them in really, really good condition because the nature of the patent leather is to crack. So like, there's just some very, very minor cracking here because it's, because it's soft. You're not gonna get that with something like the Alma because it's a really structured bag. There's no movement in the leather. But with a speedy, there's going to be a little bit. So to get it in this condition, I was really happy with but you have the little gold keys here and the lock, which doesn't even have any tarnishing on it or anything. You've got the little pockets down the side, but look at the condition of the interior. I mean, come on, absolutely nothing. So I am just over the moon to, oh, just like this with, I know I love an all black outfit, but imagine this with an all black outfit, just like, oh, just the shimmer, the sparkle, the yes. I am obsessed. Why at luxury whom? <laughs> I love it. Also, why is this like the biggest bag I've bought in recent years? Um, it has two pouches on the back, uh, two little slip pouches, and then, yeah, no, that's it. There's no zip pouch or anything. And it's beautiful. And even like the little Vachetta tab on the inside, made in France, all of that is just like nothing's ever happened to it so yeah like the handles are amazing yeah it's literally just like these tiny bits of creasing purely because that's what's going to happen with the speedy version of this but i am just so obsessed and super super happy what goes around comes around when it comes to like the condition of stuff is very 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 good so there we go i love it's, she's very Christmassy, she's a very Christmassy purchase. Oh my gosh, what should we call her? Luella, don't ask me why. I just wanted to call her that. It's Luella. Luella, no. Mm, should, she, should she be called something like very 2000s? No, I want to call her Luella. And I know that Mulberry had the Luella bag, but it's just the name that came to me, okay? It's, it was a visceral reaction, wonderful. There you go, guys. I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. For the season subscribers and those that have only found out about me very recently or this year, thank you for sticking with me and enjoying my content. Um, I will be taking the rest of the week off and I will be back bright and early on the 1st of January for you to start 2024 content. But um, I hope that you, if you celebrate, you have a wonderful Christmas. If you don't, that you, if you're having some time off, you enjoy it. You do your favorite things you have a good time nonetheless um i'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you next year Mwah. bye guys